after uh, the next sunrise, uh, here's Joe getting ready to go out with the MMU. We have a sequence of, uh, of uh, footage now that are drawn from both the, the EVAs, uh, interspersed, we won't distinguish between the two, but give, try to give you a flavor for what it was like. Uh, Rick says, right at sunrise, we went out. Uh, Dale's actually flying out here with uh, Rick recording most of this on all sorts of uh, film. Uh, about this time, I thought uh, uh, that he should think twice about it, but Dale, <laughs> go ahead and uh, describe. The, uh, Joe had done this on uh, flight day five, and uh, had proven that the MMU and the Stinger concept for capturing the satellite uh, worked, in fact, worked perfectly. And, uh, and I essentially had just a lot of fun on flight day seven, knowing on flight day seven, knowing it all worked, there was, it took a big load off my mind. You can, I flew out a little bit differently than uh, Joe had. Uh, you might remember Joe commenting that the sun had bothered him. It was in his eyes during the last phase. And uh, you'll see here in a minute that uh, when the sun finally does come up, I was fortunate enough to use the orbiter's nose to, uh, to shadow the sun. So my approach to the satellite, uh, and you can see that the shadow of the nose of the orbiter now is on the satellite and on, and on me. And um, so my docking was, uh, was a little bit easier with that information that uh, Joe had given me from uh, the earlier EVA. MMUs uh, uh, perform flawlessly, as, as you heard us uh, talk about uh, from space. And uh, this, this method of capturing the satellite uh, certainly worked well. In the, uh, you can see the arm in the lower right corner of the picture, which was a position that Anna had put it in to assist in our station keeping task. Notice that the people who brought that satellite to us uh, left it in absolutely perfect uh, position with regard to its rotation and lack of mutation, which we appreciate. We can't emphasize that enough. The satellite originally was rotating uh, 50 revolutions per minute, but was slowed down by ground controllers very painstakingly over many, many weeks' time. Uh, positioned and slowed down. And in the slowing, they left it uh, still turning at a very, very regular uh, rate. So it made our job uh, absolutely easy as pie. Uh, once docked, the procedure then was to use the MMU to stop the rotation, which uh, was equally easy. Uh, you can see it's now quite stable, and the MMU pilot could then maneuver the satellite, turn it uh, wherever we wanted it in such a way that Anna could, could uh, grab the grapple fixture. Yeah, this is a sequence from the uh, first uh, rendezvous, and uh, it worked just like it did in the simulator, getting uh, Joe commands to maneuver it such that I could uh, see the end effector, uh, the grapple target, and it went very well, very smoothly.